Hey, Sam here from Barn2, and I have a question for you. While adding products to WooCommerce, have you ever been frustrated by the lack of space for extra product information on product pages? There's just no ideal place for things like sizing charts, technical data, product videos, and anything else that you really ought to include. If you've ever shopped around on other e-commerce platforms, you've probably seen these product tabs, which can show this kind of extra information. WooCommerce shows only three different tabs by default, and without custom coding, they can't be easily modified. So today, I wanna to show you WooCommerce product tabs, an awesome plugin that provides users with the perfect way to add additional product information to product pages without cluttering them up. Thousands of store owners already use this plugin to show customers their unique product info. Some great examples include a tab for videos, financing details, shipping options, you name it. If you think it belongs on your product page, you can add it with WooCommerce product tabs. So this video will serve as your complete guide, beginning with installation and setup. Then I'll show you how to create your own tabs and personalize them to your liking. To install this premium plugin on WordPress, you need to purchase a copy from our website. You can find it linked below, and as with all our plugins, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. After purchasing your copy, you'll get an email with a zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to Plugins, Add New Plugin, and click Upload Plugin. Choose the file that came with your purchase confirmation, then click Install Now and Activate. This will launch the setup wizard, which I wanna walk you through now. On the first page here, paste your license key, which also came with your purchase confirmation, and click Activate. Next, you have the option to rename the default product tabs, which WooCommerce already lists by default. You can also choose to hide them using these checkboxes here. But for today, I'm gonna to leave everything as it is by default. And that's it for the setup wizard. Now it's time to create your first new product tab. This is incredibly simple and starts with the add new button at the top. First, give it a title. I'm gonna use the example of product videos. Then decide what kind of content you wanna put in. If it's specific to a single product, then it'll be different than what you might put for a general tab across all products or an entire category of products. We'll talk about that more in a second. First, I'm just going to write a short sentence about what the video is going to show the viewer. Then I can copy and paste a video. It could be from YouTube or from another source. Then scroll down and we'll choose where this content is going to be displayed. We can either choose to display it globally on all products, or we can show it on specific products, categories, or tags. Now in this case, I wanna include it only on my product for Brazilian coffee. So I'm gonna look for coffee, and I'm gonna choose my Brazilian coffee product. This is the only product that will be included. If I would rather, I could put it for the entire coffee category, but in this case, it's only related to a single product because it's for my Brazilian coffee. And of course, you have the option to choose from certain tags as well. Scroll back up to the top and you can select a specific icon if you want. I'm gonna search for video and choose this icon. Then finally, I can click publish. The final step is to check how the product tab looks on the product page. So here we have our Brazilian coffee product. And if we scroll down, we can see product videos is actually the first tab, but I can actually move this to any location among the different tabs. And I'll show you how to do that later on in the settings. But it's showing up quite nicely with the description and the video viewable by all of our visitors. Let's go back now and take a look at what the plugin can do from the settings page. To find the settings page, go to products and find product tabs, which is added by the plugin, and then click on settings up the top. Now I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit and show you that this is all of the main plugin settings. Under tab options, you can include the tab contents in search results on your site. Obviously I would test this, but I think it's a good idea to have it enabled. Enabling accordions is also a neat feature 
that will only impact the experience on smaller screens, as you can see in the image here that I've put on screen. Once you select this option, you can also set the maximum accordion width, and you can play around with this number to get your desired results. If you're working with a page builder and things are not displaying correctly, you can enable compatibility mode here. The rest of the settings are just the same settings that we saw in the setup wizard. You can hide or rename any of the default tabs from WooCommerce, and you can add icons here if you wish. Scroll down and save any changes you made. Then at the top, click on reorder. From here, you can set the tabs up in any order that you like, and all changes are saved automatically. If you need some inspiration for how to use this plugin, you can visit our website and find the plugin demo. I'll link it below in the description of this video. For example, if we click on this drone product and we find the product tabs, you can see there's some detailed specifications about the product here in a table format. There's also videos, a warranty information, testimonials, and the default description. In this next example of the handmade soap product, if we scroll down, we can see all of the ingredients as well as some nice images. There's also an FAQ tab. This could be useful on entire categories of products. There's information about sustainability, charitable causes, the story of the company, and of course, the description. Having product tabs with useful information should help with your e-commerce store's conversion rate, but there's still one crucial thing missing from this whole picture, and that's shipping information. Most customers will just abandon their carts if they're surprised by a shipping charge. You can put their minds at ease by showing the shipping fees on the product page or in a new product tab. You can learn all about how to do that by watching this video here. And of course, thanks for watching.